Hello friends, this video pair of linear equations in two variables part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched videos part 1 to part 15. For more example of cross multiplication method, the question says place A and B are 100 km apart on highway. The car starts from A and another car starts from B at the same time. If the car travels in the same direction and at different speed, they meet in 5 hours. If they travel towards each other, they meet in 1 hour. We have to find the speed of the two cars. Let's visualize this. This is the situation. This is point A and this is point B. They are two points, right? Point A and point B. And they are 100 km apart. So if you see the distance between these two points, they are 100 km apart. This distance is, sorry, this is 100 km. Now, in first case, both the car are going in the same direction. Let me repeat this. Both the car are going in the same direction with different speeds. And they me, I mean they are not going, they are going in the different direction. They are going towards each other. This is the case two actually. And they meet in one hour. So this case, the time taken is one hour, right? Because they are going towards each other and they meet in one hour. Let me repeat. They are going towards each other and they are meeting in one hour. In second case, both are going in the same direction. If you see, both are going in the same direction and one has overtaken. If you see here, they have overtaken. It takes more time. So here, if you see, they have overtaken somewhere here, right? Now, for this case, they take five hours. Now, let's solve this question. Let's write the equation. We have seen this that in first case, both the cars are going towards each other. It takes one hour. In second case, both the cars are going in the same direction and it takes five hours. And the speed of both the cars are different. And the distance between the cars is 100 km. So now let's assume that the car, this the red car, has the speed of V1. And this blue car has the speed of V2. Right? We can do that. The red has the speed of V1 and the blue has the speed of V2. Now, let me put this way actually. This looks perfect here. This is V1 speed and this is V2 speed. Correct? In first case, if you see, we know the formula distance is equal to speed into time. This formula we know. Correct? In both the cases, distance is the same 100 km. But the speed varies, relative speed varies. It's a phys physics term. In case both the cars are approaching towards each other, the relative speed is, you have to add the speed. Because if you see from, also if you imagine this way, if you are approaching a car, you feel the car is coming at the faster speed. Because at that time, the relative speed adds up. But if you are overtaking the car, you feel that the car is moving slower. Because at that time, the relative speed subtracts, correct? You can observe this in rail also. If you see a train that's approaching from this side, you'll find the train is coming at a faster speed because at that time, the relative speeds adds up. But if you're overtaking a car, that time you feel that overtaking is happening at a slower speed. That time, the relative speed subtracts. So, in both cases, distance is going to speed in time. In first case, distance is 100 meters. So, this is nothing but 100 meter, 100 meter is equal to speed in time. In first case, the relative speed is, you'll add the speed, that is V1 plus V2. And the time is, how much? One hour, correct? In second case, the distance is still same, but the relative velocity is V1 minus V2, correct? And this is into five, because it takes five hours. The red car is V1, because it is going faster. Correct. So we can solve this equation. What we'll get here is V1 plus V2 is equal to 100. First equation and second equation V1 minus V1 minus V2 is equal to 20. Two equations we have got 1 and 2. Correct. V1 plus V2 is equal to 100 and V1 minus V2 is equal to 20. Now, since we have to put in this AX plus BYC form, I can say V1 plus V2 minus 100 is equal to 0 because this will become C1 and V1 minus V2 minus 20 is equal to 0 because I wanted to put this in this form 
ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वाई प्लस सी वन इज टू जीरो करेक्ट दिस इज टू इक्वेशन आई है नाउ इन दिस इक्वेशन आई राइट इन दिस फॉर्म बी वन बी टू एंड दिस इज वन राइट दिस बिकम्स माइनस This becomes plus one by one. This becomes plus one by one. This becomes minus hundred by minus twenty. This becomes one by one. And again here, this becomes plus one by minus one. Correct. So what we'll get? V two by hundred into minus twenty is minus twenty. Minus of minus hundred into one is minus hundred. Minus hundred is equal to for this V one. Is equal to v two by minus hundred into one is minus hundred minus minus twenty into one is minus twenty is equal to one by minus one into minus one is minus one and minus one. So this becomes nothing but v one by minus twenty plus hundred minus twenty minus twenty minus hundred. This so is minus actually. This is minus. This is plus under. So this is minus one twenty is equal to v two by minus hundred plus twenty is minus eighty is equal to one by minus two. To solve this, to get v two v one is equal to one twenty by two that is sixty and v two is equal to eighty by two that is forty. So v one is equal to sixty and v two is equal to forty kilometer. Per hour, it is kilometer per hour. That is the speed of both the car. Correct. So car A is V1 is 60 kilometer per hour and car B is 40 kilometer per hour. Very simple. We have just understood this graphically and then we wrote the equation. 100 is equal to distance is equal to speed and time. In case they are approaching uh, towards each other, speed adds up. V1 plus V2 into T1. In case they are going in the same direction, it's overtaking. So the speed is speed subtract. This is v one minus v two into five, and we have got the answer. We'll take one more example. Yash is a guy who scored forty marks in a test. Three marks he gets for each correct answer, that is plus three, and each wrong answer he is getting losing minus one. Correct. And if you use this. Uh, Rule he gets forty marks. This is marks. Had four marks been awarded for correct answer, that means if you have the teacher would have given four marks for correct answer and minus two marks for wrong answer, he would have got fifty marks. This is the so let's assume they are x correct and y incorrect questions. Now in first case, when x correct questions, he'll get three x marks for x correct questions. And for y incorrect question, he'll get subtracted y marks. That is minus y. Total marks is forty. In case two, when the four marks are awarded for correct answer, he'll get four x marks for correct answers and minus two y marks for negative answers because for every negative this time we are charging two marks, and the total marks he got is fifty. Now we have two equations. So equation is nothing but three x minus y minus forty is equal to zero, because I want to write in this a one x plus b one y plus c is equal to zero, and four x minus two y minus fifty is equal to zero. Two equations we have. So let's solve this. This becomes x y. This is minus one minus two. This is minus forty. This is minus fifty. C one c two. This is again a one a two three four. And here again, minus b one b two minus one minus two. So what we'll get? X by minus one into minus fifty is fifty. Minus minus two into minus forty is minus plus eighty. Is equal to y by this is y actually y by minus forty into four is minus one sixty. Minus minus fifty into three is minus one fifty. Is equal to one fifty actually. Is equal to One by three into minus two is nothing but minus six minus four into minus one is nothing but minus four. Correct. 
So if you saw this, this becomes nothing but x by minus 30 is equal to y by minus 10 is equal to minus 1 by 2. If you solve this, x becomes minus 30 by minus 2 that is 50 and y becomes minus 10 by minus 2 that is 5. So this is our answer that means he has 5 correct, 15 correct answers and 5 incorrect answers. 15 correct and 5 incorrect this is 5 and that is our answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.